I've started to notice that the size of the box is not necessarily linked to the size of the product. <laughs> so let's move on to Blissey. Look at that box, isn't it gorgeous? It's so pretty. Nettoyer délicatement votre visage matin et soir, ne pas frotter, ne se rince pas. This is Jen. Evening, we are going into double digits. We have arrived at number 10. The 10th of December. The 10th little beauty box. Advent calendar. Unboxing. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm going to open the glossy box, number 10, which is quite tall, first in English, then I'm going to go for this beautiful, colourful, little blissim box in English, and then I'm going to pop over to the third one in French for the back and give you the verdict on which product I like the best today. I'm not really keeping count while I'm filming and stuff. I'm gonna keep count when I'm editing. Like, put the tally of who's winning so I don't really remember exactly which box is winning for now. I just remember all We have a long, thin Everlasting liquid lipstick. Do we have the color? It's Mela Melancholia. Melancholia. Okay. I like the packaging. It's very golf like, isn't it? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Is Kat Von D like vegan product? feeling that they're vegan. Let me just have a look. So this is a full size product. It doesn't say Illustrated on the lid. 
and then there's like kind of um, floral stuff coming down, like illustrations coming down, and then at the bottom, Cat Fontaine. Okay, Melon. so we can have a little lick oh that is like a favorite sound for a lot of people that like ASMR it's not my favorite sound I don't mind it but it's not like a, a sound that I enjoy a lot okay so that is pretty opaque really pretty pink I have no idea what this kind of color looks like on me because I really don't test a lot of um, lipsticks or liquid lipsticks. I'm more of like a lip stain or lip balm, <laughs> even though I, I rarely do either. Yeah. But I have lipsticks. I just don't really wear them. I don't know. I need to get both. Otherwise, it's probably gonna go to a red. But it's really cool though. I like it. And I really appreciate the packaging. I know it shouldn't make a difference, but it does. <laughs> you know what I mean? It really shouldn't make a difference, but it really does. Okay, so let's move on to. nourishing mask from Amika. I really love this packaging too. Um, it's instantly recognizable as a brand. Um, it's just a hair mask. Gratify your hair with rich, high potency nourishment that hydrates and softens to the core. So massage through wet hair, let five to seven minutes. Rinse well. <laughs> I skipped a line <laughs> and it said rinse with eyes. <laughs> it actually says rinse well. Use weekly or daily. Avoid contact with eyes. I skipped right from rinse. Rinse with eyes. <laughs> yeah, so. And I already know what it's going to smell like too. <laughs> I've had a few of these um, hair masks. good. I'm not really super into hair masks. I feel like it's just conditioner that you leave in longer. I don't know. I'm not really like super up on my hair care and stuff. I'm just gonna try things. exact um this exact product I may still already have this so yeah this little miniature soul food nourishing mask cute packaging okay so I am going to switch into French Calendula, cette fleur. 
elle s'est produit un valeur de 2,20 euros. Ça va rien dire, ça peut être super chouette quand même. Ok, encore avec des petits pas dans la neige. J'aime bien des petits détails. Qu'est-ce qu'on a Quelque chose avec un. sensible et sèche les secrets d'Emily les secrets d'Emily je ne connais pas cette marque mais j'aime bien la petite bouteille apaisante sans rinçage nettoie, démaquille, visage et yeux sans parfum extrait de calendula bio et eau de eau des glaciers alors je vais sentir il dit qu'il est sans parfum mais je me demande s'il a quand même un odeur je le sens mais Non, je sens pas, je pense. Je pense que c'est peut-être le, le liquid lipstick que je, je sens. Donc, mode d'emploi, allez d'un coup de nettoyer délicatement votre visage matin et soir, ne pas frotter, ne se rince pas. Testez ce contrôle dermatologique et made in France. Donc, ça fait en France aussi. C'est vegan incompatible donc euh, au de l'eau à l'eau des glaciers c'est rigolo ça c'est beau on a des petits montagnes où il y a des glaciers c'est mignon ok donc je suis toujours contente d'avoir un petit micellaire ou de micellaire parce que c'est ce que je J'en ai utilisé plusieurs différentes et un peu qui, qui ont eu réaction à ma peau. Il y en a eu un ou deux qui ont eu une mauvaise réaction, mais sinon en général c'est assez, euh, assez compatible avec ma peau. Alors, mot d'emploi, donc ça va, on a déjà vu sa notation globale et 4 Alors, focus ingrédients. Le calendula, je ne sais pas si je le prononce bien en français, hein. <rire> j'en ai aucune idée, possède des propriétés cicatrisantes et adoucissantes reconnues. Il est donc préconisé, préconisé de le mettre à profit pour une peau douce et souple. Ok, donc je pense que ça va être chouette. Les secrets des billes. masque nourrissante pour les cheveux mais je pense que c'est quelque chose que j'ai déjà eu même plusieurs fois j'ai déjà vu cette marque plusieurs fois dans les boîtes de, de beauté mais c'est pas vraiment mon truc des masques cheveux j'ai l'impression que c'est la même chose que du après shampoing mais on le laisse plus longtemps j'ai jamais vraiment je sais pas je ne fais pas beaucoup de trucs pour mes cheveux je reste assez simple on a un rouge à lèvres liquide. C'est comme ça qu'on dit. Oui, rouge à lèvres liquide. En couleur mélancolia. Et là, il est mat. Que j'ai pas vu tout à l'heure parce qu'il était pas sec. Voilà, on voit que c'est bien mat en fait. Cette couleur. C'est une couleur que j'aurais jamais choisi, mais on verra. On va voir. Je suis pas trop euh, rouge à lèvres. Je pense que... Oh, je ne sais pas. C'est sûr que c'est pas celle-ci au milieu parce que je l'ai déjà eu. J'étais pas... Wow. Celle-ci, c'est sûr que je vais l'utiliser. Et je suis sûre que ça va être bien. 
et celle-ci je ne suis pas sûre que je vais utiliser mais il est très cool <rire> j'aime bien le le packaging euh, j'ai jamais vraiment eu je pense que j'ai déjà eu un truc peut-être un petit truc de cette marque là mais je pense que la qualité va être très bonne aussi donc ou je sais pas je pense que ça va être encore la beautiful box qui va gagner ouais je pense ok so I am back in English to let you guys know so this last is a vegan um, micellar water with calendula extracts and water from the glaciers in France. Can you see that on the side? <laughs> That's kind of cool. So I've used like plenty of different micellar waters and I've only had like one maybe possibly two that I've had bad reactions to so I'm pretty sure that this one will be cool and I use it, um, my cellar water twice a day, every day so I know that that's gonna get used the mask I think it's just gonna go in my hair care product um, drawer and just get forgotten about I'm afraid because I think I already, I think I already even have this, I think I'm gonna have to give this to someone not that it's a bad product, I just don't really think about using hair masks very often. And then we have the liquid lipstick. I think if it suits me and I'm bold enough to wear it, I'm gonna love it. But if it doesn't suit me or I never end up using it, it's such a shame. I'm gonna try it once and if I don't like it, I'm gonna give it straight to a friend. Because it's so pretty, I think that it should be So, I kind of want to say this one is the winner because it's so pretty but I'm gonna go for the beautiful box because my cellar water is something that I use every day and this one is probably gonna be just as good if not better than the ones that I use already and just looks really cute too. I like the fact that it uses the water from glaciers in France. It's cute. Even the name of the brand is cute. Emily's Secrets. Yeah. So, Beautiful Box is on a roll at the moment. And um, Beautiful Box is supposed to be all full-size products. So, I don't know about that. I think that's more travel size, to be honest. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. So, I hope that you enjoyed this video. That you found it relaxing and interesting to see what was in the Oh, you too.